The hornbill installs his wife inside a tree trunk and seals her up for three months. But first he cleans up her cell to make sure she'll be comfortable in there. And then he flies off to get some clay to wall her in. And she starts undressing. She plucks out all her coarser feathers so she can be soft and cuddly for the chicks when they hatch. Without those feathers, she can't fly, but she won't be using her wings for quite a while. He comes back with a beak full of clay and blocks up the entrance so she and her chicks will be safe in there. He leaves only a narrow slit, the right size and shape for a hornbill's bill, so he can bring her food and water while she lays her eggs and hatches them. And then there are suddenly five mouths to feed and father has to knock himself out providing for them all. And throughout the long, hot summer, he's the hardest working member of the opulent Kavango community. To make matters worse, when the chicks grow bigger, he has to provide a balanced diet. One day, green stuff with lots of vitamins. The next day, proteins. One lucky day, a whole swarm of proteins comes buzzing around the nest, saving Dad a lot of labor. He's quite sorry when they leave. Oh well, back to the grind. The chicks have been taught not to pollute their own nest, and their aim is remarkable. As they grow, it gets quite crowded in the nursery. So one fine day, mother breaks open the roof and out they come. Father feels happy and proud to see his children at last. But perhaps he also feels a bit sad and discarded now they don't need him anymore. Although warthogs get a smell.